G'day everyone, Brian here. You ever been afraid of things and then found out you actually didn't need to be afraid of them? Some people have a fear of clowns and then grow out of that. Some people have a fear of public speaking and then get quite good at it. I have a fear of dentists and before filming this I had to go to the dentist and I always expect there to be some really bad news. Oh, you've broken this, oh, this needs to be fixed. Oh, while you're here, we'll do this. Oh, and let's give you 15 injections while you're there. But today, I had the wonderful experience of visiting a dentist for a checkup and for him to say, everything's looking good, well done. Why was I afraid? The story in the Bible, not about a dentist, but about Jesus with his disciples when he asks them the question, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? That's there in, the, in a boat, there's a storm, they think they're going to drown, Jesus is asleep, they wake him up, Jesus talks to the waves and the wind to say, quiet, be still, and everything grows completely calm. And then he turns to his disciples and says to them, why are you still so afraid? Do you have no faith? Well, why would you be afraid? Because there's a storm? Because we think we're going to drown? Do you still have no faith? Well, we thought we did, but maybe we don't. Do you have faith? Do you have faith to believe that when Jesus says, let's go to the other side of the lake, that he will get you there? Do you have faith to believe that when Jesus says, in my father's house is many rooms and I go to prepare a place for you? Do you have the faith to believe that he will prepare that place for you. And no matter what happens between now and then, you will get there. Well, the disciples are confronted by this and then say to themselves, who is this? That even the wind and the waves obey him. Sometimes the power of God overwhelms us. Sometimes the power of Jesus might even terrify us. But you don't need to be terrified of Jesus. Jesus loves you. You don't need to be terrified of him. You can come to him. You can call out to him for help in love. But to reject Jesus might mean there is a reason for you to be terrified of him. So my suggestion to you would be call out to Jesus and lean on him and his help. Read the story. It's in Mark chapter 4 to the last section and you'll see it there. You don't need to be afraid of Jesus. Let him calm the storms of your life. If you have any questions, leave them below. I won't be here next week. I'm taking a week off. Uh, so I'll be back the week after that or on Cup Day onwards anyway. So have a great week. Enjoy it. And I'll talk to you sometime soon. Bye-bye.